hello beautiful and wonderful people so today's video is on how to make the satellite fascinator or hat using the pleated crinoline if you are new to my channel hi i'm the lap boy you're welcome to this channel please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out of my videos here these are the materials i will be working with i have my ready-made brace covered with the sequins fabric i have uhu glue measuring tape i have my pair of scissors and this is the pleated crinoline then i have my needle and the matching color of thread i have fishing line of about 0.30 mm i have my plastic headband my hat wire and um, a bias strip so in place of a bias strip you could use peter sham ribbon so the first step is to get my wire and the measurement i used for this is about 55 inches yes i use 55 inches so yours could be up to 60 yours could be lesser it could be 50 inches now i'm going to place the two ends of my wire they overlapped and i use my thread to tie the ends together as you can see now i am just using my uhe glue to seal the ends of the of the thread you know just to keep it in place you know now the next step is to get my pleated crinoline and i have about 93 inches i am just trying to measure so you can see i have about 60 inches like that you'll notice i was spreading the pleats while i was measuring so i had 60 inches like that and i have another it's about 36 inches so all together that's about 96 inches i decided to work with it directly and um, i cut off the excess later so please pay attention to this part i was trying to sew my pleated crinoline into my wire while spreading the pleats okay so i just folded the one side of my crinoline over the art wire just a little about a quarter inch over the wire and i used my needle and thread to sew through so please watch this part carefully while i was sewing my crinoline to my wire i pulled the pleat okay it's kind of pleated and once you pull it you can you can stretch do you understand so while i was trying to sew you can see the way i was just pulling it like that you understand why it is so I made sure I pulled the crinoline while I stitch onto my hat wire. Okay, if you don't get any parts, you can um, take it backwards and watch again. So at this point, I've got it to the, the first end that I started from and I trimmed off the excess. I just added an extra inch for it to overlap over the first hand and I cut off the excess crinoline. Okay, now for the two ends, there, there are two ways to go about this. You can decide to sew through. If you can sew neatly, you can use a fishing line to sew through or you use your thread, your matching color of thread and sew through neatly or you can decide to use glue like i did here so when you're applying your glue please you have to be very careful so you don't have glue stains on your work so i applied little glue as you can see and i left it for a few seconds for it to dry a little before i glued them together okay so while you're gluing apply a lot of pressure if you do this part neatly from the outside the joining may not be seen you can as well cover the joint part with designs or accessories later okay then i continue to stitch properly at that point now i have my crinoline sewn properly to my hat wire and now we have a bias strip to cover the edges yes for this part i would advise you use the peter sham ribbon 
Peter Sham ribbon is a little bit wider or much wider than a buyer strip and it will cover this part properly. As at the time I filmed this tutorial, I didn't have the Peter Sham ribbon. So I decided to use what I had, but I may actually take it off later and cover up with the Peter Sham ribbon. The Peter Sham ribbon is actually better for this part. It covers the wire properly. So I uh, will just use my buyer strip for the purpose of this training or for the purpose of this tutorial to cover up my wire and that is it so you can see that i've covered the edges round i've covered the wire round with my bias strip and now it's time for us to gather the center of the pleated crinoline stitches through like that and i'll gather the center a little bit okay for it to curve so just watch this part carefully you can see that i've sewn my loose stitches up to that point and on pulling the thread you can see that we have this our uh, curvy shaped form and i'm going to tack it right there once i am done or once once i'm satisfied with what I want okay but at this point you need to be careful or you need to confirm if this center is okay for the kind of crown you're going to be using for my own crown I made the circle or this center opening to be a little bit smaller than the circumference of my crown okay you can see that I've placed my crown on it just to size it and I have it a little bit smaller because we need that extra allowance for us to cover up her crown or for us to attach our crown to the brim. So our brim is ready and I have my crown as you can see. It's actually what I used for a previous project. That's why you're seeing some glue stains in it. I had to take it off for me to film this tutorial based on request. You guys mean so much to me and that is why I'm doing this. So I've placed my crown to my brim and I use my clips to hold them down as you can see i use my clips to hold the brim and the crown together while it dries up all right so i am going to complete the process by using my bar strip to cover the inner rough edges and at the end of the day i'm going to be lining this because those blue stains we have at the center like i said earlier i used this crown for a previous project it was just for uh, a test project i think i was trying to show someone something so i had those glue stains i had to just take it off from what i used it for earlier and just for the purpose of this tutorial now i'm done and i have my elastic okay yes before i before i cover the inner edges i needed to fix my elastic band i prefer to use the elastic for this project you can go ahead and cover up your edges and place your plastic headband if you want to so i just decided to use the elastic it makes it sit properly on the head even while you're dancing in any event whether you're in church or in any event your art will not fall off easily okay so i always prefer to use this elastic band so i am going to sew my elastic band through the measurement of the length of my elastic is about 10 inches 10 to 12 inches it depends on how stretchy the elastic is so you just need to take it around your head or your mannequin to be sure of what will be enough for you in your own case now I'm trying to stitch one end of the elastic to my hatinator and I'm going to fix the other side as well. If you are here to join me on Instagram or Facebook, please do so by following me. Search for Dolly B Crafties on Facebook and Instagram to follow us to get updates of our trainings and orders.
Yes, as a stand, we are just um, done with this particular video. Uh, I know a lot of you are, are not new to art making, but if you don't have a basic knowledge in millinery, you can reach out to me via WhatsApp on the number on the screen so that I can take you through the basics of art making. So I'll just finish the inner part with my battery and cover the inside with lining just to hide all the stains and all those rough parts you're seeing. So at this point you can decide to embellish it, you can put flowers, feathers or design whatever to embellish yours. I hope you enjoyed this video, please let me like, share and subscribe if you are yet to. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you all in our next video. Bye!